All right, Apple just released a brand new VR AR type headset and it is like really playing tricks in my mind mixing these two worlds, virtual and real. Like what is this world all about? Like what's the future of this? VR basically is where you're just seeing the virtual image, right? So that's very good for a lot of things, playing games, even flight simulation. Helicopter, for example, is much, much better in VR because you're getting all the motion and all that. AR means that you're actually seeing the real world and there's something being superimposed on top of it. So that's that's probably got more practical near-term use. V VR, I think, will be a big deal for, for socializing, playing games together, things like that, yeah. because you literally can be in the same room with somebody. Maybe even like having, you know, conferences, like things you do in Zoom today, uh, so or you're Teams. Wearing these. Yeah, you can, you can be at a table and sitting around and see avatars of the of the people you're meeting with, kind of like we do with uh, you know Zoom and, and Teams calls. But then it looks three dimensional, like they're really there. You can reach it looks out. right three dimensional, like they're really there. And, and is their real self, like, or fake? Avatars? It'll be avatars that'll get more and look more and more like you over time. So it, it won't be them; it'll be a virtual them, but it'll get more and more realistic. I think. We're all getting used to that, like our profiles and our texts have to our avatar, our fake cartoon image of us. Right. We're accepting it. Yeah, and if, when you play in. Fortnite, in a lot of games, you can also design what you look like in the game. Mm. Right? It doesn't have to be yeah. the real you, but you can do that. AR is where you're, you're putting some image on top of what you actually see. That's got a lot of more near-term uh, uses. In, for things like medical. Yeah. So a doctor can be wearing the glasses, see the patient, and get superimposed. Uh, even something like an x-ray or an image of inside what they're working on, or instructions or things like that. Uh, aircraft maintenance, same thing. You can you know see the aircraft, you can do the maintenance, but maybe have the user manual accessible to you while you're doing it, not having to like look over here yeah. on the screen. Do you see people walking down the street, like leaving work environment or home environment, wearing these? Over time, yes. Right now, they all look too dorky. They're too too big and bulky and all that. But if you think about it, if you can wear something that looks like normal sunglasses yeah. and have have an ability to interact and, and maybe do a, a search, look up a phone number, make a phone call, things like that. How do you like say that? that? Do a search. It's a big voice wreck. That's all talk. Yeah, I mean, the, the way it'll probably work is you'll look at the top right corner with your with your eyes. It'll detect that you're looking there. That'll turn on the voice rec and you'll say, you know, you can text somebody or look something up. Yeah. Today, even even like in the last six months, I never, I always thumb typed my stuff in. And now, I don't know why I was doing that because the voice rec on texting is nearly perfect and way faster than typing. Yeah. So you're not going to need a keyboard for, for that. Do you remember those Google glasses? Yeah. Was that just way too far in front of it, or did they lead the thought process now to lead us to where we're at now? Because everyone had them for like a week and then it was gone. They're, they're still around, but yeah, that was kind of ahead of its time. The technology wasn't quite as good as it should be. Even today, it's not quite what you want. They're mm. too big and bulky, but I think that'll happen. It'll, so, it'll be a major part of how we communicate. You may not have a mobile phone at some mm. point in time. You may just have something that, that is like regular glasses like those ray bands that you could have keep on. all that data yeah and you're making phone calls you're you're doing everything you do on your mobile phone except it's kind of built in that seems like if it's small it's not bulky it's not in your way i think that's not practical. dorky looking yeah i mean we all look like dorks so maybe glasses do improve us a little bit <laughs> <laughs> right